You are listening to Single Smart Female. This is us letting it all hang out about your love life, examining Steph's dating experiences, and answering your hot topic dating questions. Just you, Steph, and me. No topic is off limits and no filters involved. This is Jen. And I'm Steph. If you have a question about your love life that you would like us to answer, you can submit your question at singlesmartfemale.com. Welcome, Single Smart Female, to show 28. This is Jen, your host, joined by my really awesome, sometimes sweet, sometimes not. (laughs) Thanks. Funny, but not quite as funny as me, co-host. Okay. Steph. (laughs) I think that's up to interpretation. You're supposed to say, hey, ladies. Oh, hey, ladies. (laughs) Hey, ladies. This is Steph. (laughs) The second funny one. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Steph is going to read our note or inquiry from a lovely listener in St. Louis who is 35 years old and we will call her St. Louis Sweetheart. Okay, St. Louis Sweetheart writes, there's not much going on presently in my romantic life except meeting a few men from Tinder and a guy I met on Plenty of Fish three years ago. So this guy I've known for three years never takes me out on dates and when we do see each other, It's usually at night and a booty call. Or he would come to help me fix something in the house and then have sex. Well, I ended the sex part because it wasn't developing into anything. We still communicate here and there, but it's usually me initiating. I really like him, but he won't ever tell me how he feels or what he wants. I'm exhausted at trying to make him talk to me about it. Okay, St. Louis sweetheart, I have some information to give you and this isn't going to be a ton of information but I do need you to take this really really seriously first off I will say that I'm proud of you for online dating although we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second but second the reason why you're so exhausted is because you have spent three years focusing on a man who is paying legitimately no attention to you. And that is exhausting. You're vying for somebody's attention who the only thing that they'll give you is sexual attention. And it doesn't even sound like he's really great at that. So trying to make a man talk about his feelings or get him to open up and, you know, give him giving him that soft place to land doesn't work like we think it's going to work. In fact, uh, one of the reasons I'm going to I'm going to give you a little secret. And this is for all of you ladies. One of the reasons why my husband is so open with me, and by the way, he was a hot mess when I first met him. He, and in fact, he told me straight up, the only feelings I have are hungry, angry, happy, and horny. I think that's what he said to me. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) He was a hot mess. But instead of always asking him about how he was feeling and what that meant and, and doing all the girl inquiries that we love to do. I let him wonder about me and I didn't emotionally vomit on him all the time. I didn't have to, you know, I let him actually start to wonder what was going on in my head. And that set the precedent for him to inquire more and more. So now these days when I talk to him and I say, hey, can we talk? It's he's like, yes, absolutely. What do you want to talk about? It's he wants to know my feelings. He wants to know all these different things. He wants to open up with me. He wants to share his feelings. When we went from, remember just a second ago, he was, or I know it wasn't legitimately just a second ago, but (laughs) years ago, I mean, happy, horny, mad, and I forgot the other one, but (laughs) (laughs) angry. Yeah, mad, mad, angry. Yeah, all of those. Oh, mad. So. Yeah. <laughs> Happy, sad, I don't, I don't know. That's, you know, it, it was because I let him be the one to initiate our feelings conversations. And it worked. It worked like a charm. So I want to encourage women, not just you, St. Louis, sweetheart, to quit getting pissed off at men for not sharing stuff with you. And you... Focus on the other people in your mentorage instead of hyper focusing on one dude who's not paying a lot of attention to you. I'm glad. I'm really happy for you that you're not doing the whole booty call thing with him because that that's just not going to work, especially if you're wanting something more with him. You cannot set a guy up to want a relationship with you if you're having a booty call with him. Plus, 
you don't have any other talent in your mantourage. But there's also one more piece of this I really want to I want to talk to you about St. Louis, sweetheart. And that is I believe you are what we would call lovesick. And lovesickness is where we get hooked on and hyper focus on somebody who cannot reciprocate the feelings that we have for them. So we create these imagine, imaginary scenarios in our head and we put all of our attention on him, all of our eggs in his basket, and we go on for years, months. It usually starts off with months, but sometimes it goes into years of eliminating all other potential in men and keeping our focus exclusively on him. And it's a way, it's a very powerful way to make sure you never get what you want romantically. I'm going to say it time and time again. Men are not wired to receive all of your romantic attention when they have not decided that they want an exclusive relationship with you. So you need to finally admit to yourself that you are lovesick and it's time to move on from being lovesick. I have something to help you with, something that will help you move through this. All you need to do is go to thelovesickcure.com and check out what we have for you there so that you can start moving through this and open up opportunities to other men and stop hyper-focusing on a guy. You should never fall in love with a man who doesn't treat you like the adored woman you are. Because when you do, that's lovesickness. Okay? As an adored woman, when you're in love with a man who doesn't feel the same about you, that is lovesickness, especially when you spend years in that mode and that's what you are doing and it is time to stop. Now, the last part of this that I want to address is the fact that you are online dating and I'm, I'm really, really happy for you about online dating. I think that is wonderful. The only thing I'm going to recommend is to stay off of Plenty of Fish because I don't think it's a great site for looking f- for finding what you really want to find. Plus, you need to be doing something aside from Tinder. Because remember, Tinder, and I even think Plenty of Fish, these were kind of based on being hookup sites. I do recognize that there are women who find relationships there, but you need to learn how to be wooed, courted, dated, all those wonderful things. And it's harder to do when you're, when you're having a conversation with a man that goes something like this. Hey, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. You want to meet? Sure. <laughs> There's no setup to that. There's absolutely no setup to that. There's no arrangement for your first date. It's a coffee date. It's a let's meet and see if we're just attracted to each other. And if it worked, everybody would have amazing success at it. But we women have to take back our dating lives, even online dating, and stop going at a guy's pace. You don't have to meet guys that quickly. You should get on a site. I'm going to recommend eHarmony. That's still one of my favorite. If you're looking for a relationship, get on a site that's designed for relationships, for not moving the pace so quickly that it actually sets you up better for a booty call. Today's show is brought to you by thelovesickcure.com. Does your love life suck because you can't move on from the idea of him? Does every man you meet pale in comparison to the way he made you feel? It's okay, lady love. We 100% understand. Whether you'd like the opportunity to get him back or to completely move on, we know this only happens when you cure your lovesickness. Let us help you today at thelovesickcure.com. Okay, lover girl, it's time for my favorite segment, updates on Steph's love life. (laughs) Woohoo! So, Steph... When we left off, your Latin lover had moved, had told you that he didn't want to give you hope about a relationship future. Correct. Any more to add to that summary? Uh, Yeah, he didn't want to give me hope. Um, He, but was still continued to contact me. He left flowers on his way out. Yes. So that's 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 our recap. That was a very emotional segment. It it was it was quite the emotional segment. I'm curious, what has happened since then? Well, he 
contacts me every day. Every day? Every day. Mm-hmm. Every day. He is now working on figuring out a way for us to see each other. Oh, really? Yes. Mr. I don't want to give you hope. Correct. Although he did preface our visit with, I know it'll make things harder, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he's still sticking to the plan, which is uh, amusing. It's very amusing. And I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know, this is like a little bit sidebar. I'm still quite interested in a uh, Latin lover. <laughs> However, the other day, I got an email from Coffee Meets Bagel. You know, you know that it's it's like one of those one of those dating, like, app. dating apps. Yeah, yeah, it's an online dating app. You didn't tell and me you were doing that again. I di- uh, I'm, <gasps> I'm not doing it again. Here's what happened. Okay, so I get an email and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna turn it on and look. Oh, really? Yeah. So, but then, but then I'm looking and I'm like, I'm oh. so pissed off at you, Steph, <laughs> right now. <laughs> How dare you not tell me? I had to save it. I had to have genuine emotion coming out of you, Jen. <laughs> like this is this is podcasting gold right now. This is genuine pissed Jen <laughs> with laughing at the same time. It's a very interesting mix of feelings right now, and <laughs> not the warm tingly kind. I like the warm tingly kind. <laughs> Oh, dear. Anyways, yes. So I got this email from Coffee Meets Bagel that's like, hey, your bagels miss you. And I'm like, oh, you know, all right, I'll just turn it on. I'll look at it, see whatever. And then I turned it on and then I panicked and I turned it off. But I guess I didn't actually turn it off. I'm not (laughs) really sure because then I started getting these notifications about bagels and the blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, Pass, 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 pass. Ooh. How do you, uh, wait, wait, wait. How do you like your bagels? Mm, toasted with cream cheese. <laughs> Lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, continue. Everything bagel, by the way. I love an everything bagel. The hell's an everything bagel? You know, it's got all the stuff, like all the seeds oh, and the whatnot okay, on okay. it. Okay, fully loaded. Garlic and deliciousness. You like your bagels fully loaded. I like my bagels fully loaded. Okay, got it. <laughs> so... Yes. So I'm I'm like, okay, well, pass, 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 pass. And all the guys and then, and then this like really cute guy popped up and I'm like, oh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and so I click uh, connect or whatever it is that you click. But then it popped up and it was like, Hey, in order to communicate with your bagels, you gotta finish your profile, bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> shit. I wasn't ready for that either. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen, maybe. <laughs> you need me to write your profile. Maybe you can write my profile for me. <laughs> Damn it. I, know, I so... wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why he's planning trips. I'm not sure. Maybe I should send you to helpmeonlinedate.com. <laughs> <laughs> where you will be taught how to put together your online dating profile. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds perfect for me. Yes. Well, I haven't been on any new dates. Mm-hmm. I have dipped my toe into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> into, the hole, into the hole of the bagel. Yeah. The bagel hole. <laughs> to the bagel hole. It's a little squishy. <laughs> I don't know if that maybe sparked some inspiration, you know, energetically through the ether, but I am, I am open to uh, going on some dates. Should we talk about more celebrities that people can set you up with? Oh my goodness. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Any new ones? Oh my gosh. Let me think. Oh, what were my last ones? Did I mention Hook (laughs) from uh, Once Upon a Time? Because I, uh, I love Hook from Captain Hook from that show that cheesy fairy tale show okay uh, i'm still waiting yeah. for somebody to set you up with aziz anasari so yeah me too me too i i need to start reaching out to my connections and see what we can come up with <laughs> ladies out there who have those connections again steph is she's okay with you setting her up i aziz anasari i am i'm very okay with it um ooh, i don't know i don't know i can't think of any any more celebrities that I want to, you know, date right now? Oh, oh, so this is interesting. So I went to lunch with a friend yesterday and 
this guy walks in with a with a I guess a friend of his or whatever and I'm looking at him and I and I'm like I recognize that guy how do I know that guy and then I look at my friend who I was with and I was like hey I think that's either the twin of or the actual bachelor from that one bachelor episode or bachelor season where there was twins I don't remember what their names are, honestly, but like there was a Bachelor episode with a guy who was a twin and he's from Austin. And then his twin walked in and I was like, fuck yeah, I was right. (laughs) And then I proceeded to watch about five different servers attend to their table, which I found very, very darling. Like each time, like somebody would bring, somebody new would bring them their food and somebody different would bring them their water and somebody different would come and check on them. And Everybody got their turn. Steph, I just had a brilliant idea. What? We should put an application together for you to be on The Bachelorette. Oh, my God. You know what? I, I You'd be amazing. Let me let me. You ta- could secretly text me and, I, oh, we'd have so much no, fun. They take your phone and they make you crazy. Assholes. I've, I've been watching this show. It's called Unreal. Mm-hmm. And it's like, basically, it's, it's, a, it's a fictional show. Okay, that being said, it but it's set up as kind of a behind the scenes look at a dating show that's somewhat like The Bachelor, but they they call it Everlasting, right? Mm -hmm. And it shows you how they produce all the drama that happens on those shows. And it's fucking terrifying. It's scary. Uh, Cause I mean I I'd be totally down with like a bunch of dudes vying for my attention. I'm so okay with that. But entourage also, dating at its best. Yeah, but honestly, like I do not want. Although maybe it's it'd be different for me because I'm the suitess. Because <laughs> they call him the suitor, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm not a suitor. No, I'm a sutress. A, a sutress. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't either. I'm not sure. What's a feminine I'm not, at feminine form. I don't know. I don't know. Me neither. I'm okay not knowing. Yeah. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it'd be fine because I wouldn't be the one being manipulated. I don't think. Well, you'd have to be on your guard. You have to decide between um, what's real and what's made for TV. Yeah. But it still would be fun experience. We would have a blast with that. Oh, my God. I'd be so nervous, though. (laughs) (laughs) You'd be awesome at this. People are looking at me. Shit. I would be ninja flipping over the back walls to send you notes and stuff. So there's well, no way they would keep me away from you. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that they pick their bachelorettes based on. I don't give a shit. We bachelor. Need, I know it's it's, yeah. it's, it's it's a stupid fucked up system, but they need to change that. But I'm not famous. It doesn't or matter. Or rich. You don't have to be famous or rich in, in my world. <laughs> so. In your world. Yeah. Maybe we do our own. Yes. Bachelorette. Okay. So. New assignment, ladies out there. We're looking for a producer for our own version <laughs> of Bachelorette. We need somebody to produce, to film, to fund this to project. To fund, to fund. <laughs> fund being the key word here. It'll be a fun funding, we yes, promise. Yes. An amazing, amazing experience. Oh, my God. Hey, single smart female, it's time for the final thought on today's show. Love sickness is not the same as love, and there is a cure. Today's show is brought to you by thelovesickcure.com. Does your love life suck because you can't move on from the idea of him? Does every man you meet pale in comparison to the way he made you feel? It's okay, lady love. We 100% understand. Whether you'd like the opportunity to get him back or to completely move on, we know this only happens when you cure your lovesickness. Let us help you today at thelovesickcure.com.